What's up ladies and gents, my name is Parv and I welcome you to the Potato Monster channel for week 229 of our top 5 plays. This episode features some champs we don't see too often so I'm excited to get the ball rolling with our number 5 play from a name I'm not too sure about but nonetheless he's a monster on Gragas. In the beginning we see him flanking around the backside for a gank on the mid lane but by the time he shows up his teammate is just about dead. He's 3 levels under the enemy Yasuo so he's scared to approach but then he gets hit by the knockup and ult so he decides to fight. Gragas cues for the slow and then body slams while he kites back making sure to auto and ready his W while getting close to tower and then he turns for a final hit. At this point they cool off for a moment but Yasuo has the Q stacked up and flashes forward but a body slam away plus flash redirects Gragas and allows him to just barely get the kill after a beautiful bait. Umumu shows up to push the wave mid but Gragas wants the farm so he sticks around and drinks up. All of a sudden he sees an opening to body slam in knocking Umumu under the tower for the assistant DPS to take down the mummy. Coming in at her number 4 spot, we have Glory on Annie, who's playing in a super close master tier game. We start this play with the enemy red team picking up momentum in the team fight as they start to slowly kill off Annie's team. Things aren't looking so hot, so Annie stays out of the fight while her teammates try to escape through the jungle as the threat of Baron continues to grow. One by one, they start to fall, leaving Annie and Yorick versus all five, but this is where Annie thinks a few steps ahead and waits patiently. She knows they want Baron, but thanks to the pink ward, she makes the assumption that they'll quickly turn to kill it before going on to Baron. Without hesitation, she walks up, flashing over the wall with a 3 man Tibbers dropping Victor before going into Zanyu's in case he got off his one shot combo. Immediately things are down to a 2v2 but she keeps Tibbers in front of Jinx blocking any potential zaps as they focus Rek'Sai for the quad to Annie. With Tibbers leading the charge they both rush after Jinx as the AoE from the bear slowly melts her down and then they come in for the killing blow to get Annie the Penta. Our number 3 play comes from Poopy Duper D Poop on Lee Sin and I can say with confidence I never thought I'd have to say a name as ridiculous as that but anyways this play is pretty sick. He's the only person there to defend the tower and instead of conceding it he wants to fight with his team coming in. He angles himself up and kicks Wukong straight into all 4 followed by the resonating strike in E plus Hydra to instantly get the double. Velkos starts his all as the sonic wave connects on Leona which grabs him the triple as they chase down Ezreal for their 5th kill. I know a few people might ask how he did so much damage so I wanted to specify that it's a full damage lane lease in not a jungler. Let's have another look at that insane kick that just about changed everything. Moving along and into second place we have Call Me Siggy on Master Yi and I think this is one of the cooler duo plays I've seen because the teamwork here is amazing. With the enemy team on Dragon he pops his ult and rushes in, Alpha striking alongside Smite for the steal. They go on him but a great meditate reduces so much damage as Lulu pops him up and he gets the kill before getting CC'd. He cues Jace at the same time Glitter Lance goes through and then he Alpha strikes again for the triple into another meditate to buy time for his teammates to rush Caitlyn. Thanks to Lulu's support from over the wall and all the resets Siggy picks up the quad and Dragon steal for his team. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Tobzi with a great victor play to salvage a lost team fight. He's pushing in mid when the enemy team engages full force, catching multiple people out and crushing them quick. Victor's making his way through the jungle and he drops a nice gravity field, pulling them in while the laser beams across and his ult comes down before he speeds out. While running, he keeps Chaos Storm right behind him and when Shivana catches up, he turns with a Q for the speed up on Thresh to dodge the hook. He throws out another E, sniping Thresh before queuing again for the speed up to kite Shivana and then gravity field forces her to back off which allows him to Q auto at max range. We can see on the minimap that there are some enemies still around so while he shoves mid real quick, they start to close in. He speeds away while waiting out Orianna's shield and then places down another gravity field which forces her to blindly check the brush through this passageway leaving her open to a laser. Oriana moves the ball into the brush for vision but Victor is one step ahead with an EQ for the kill to get the killing spree. At this point Renekton's seen enough and doesn't want anything to do with Tobzi so he pushes mid while Victor roams down to cut off Vayn for a fourth kill. And for a bonus clip of the week we have Plux24 on Ribbon and I apologize about the lower quality of this recording it was directly submitted to us already recorded. This play features Riven and the enemy team in a wild chase that takes us all around the map with some pretty good jukes along the way. At this part of the replay she's trying to abuse her lifesteal to 1v2 but Jinx is coming so she decides to peace out. She tries to turn thinking they can't see her but she doesn't do enough and ends up flashing away from Victor's burst. While the chase continues in the background I wanted to shout out Loot Crate who's one of the leading sponsors for her channel. They gave us the code POTATO1 for 10% off their crate so to anyone thinking about signing up you can do us a huge solid and use the code which is also in the description box. For those unfamiliar with Loot Crate you basically sign up and they ship you a box every month full of cool gamer gear that's worth at least 40 bucks in value. Every single month the box is themed so I encourage you to go check out the link in the description and take a look at some of the past crates to see if you like what they deliver. Thanks for tuning in for today's episode it was a pleasure having you and I hope you enjoyed the video. As a final question to those who stuck around this long what do you think we could do to excite you guys to submit more plays? We understand the replay systems have always been a bit wacky but we're planning on doing about three to four videos a week from now on and we need some more submissions 
conditions to keep the quality high, so we're open to any ideas. Thanks for your feedback, and until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.